Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen. So in the previous video, I went over creating your first tracking link with click magic and I went over why you should add question mark S1 equals bracket click ID bracket because that generates a unique click ID number which will be used to count sales within click magic through affiliate networks. So this is probably where it gets the most confusing. So what I want you guys to do is go to ClickMagic FAQ and type in how do I track conversions using postback URLs and you will find this little pop-up menu and then there's a four part series on all on uh, setting up your postback URL and it makes it very clear and just read through this because if you guys pause the video right now and go through this what I'm about to tell you will make a lot more sense. Okay, so if you haven't done it, pause the video, go watch these videos and read this article. Read all of it. Okay. So, post back URLs. What is it? What is a post back URL? It is a way for your affiliate or CPA network to relay information back to Click Magic when a unique click has created a sale. And this way you are able to track which keyword when we build our Bing Ads campaign which keyword resulted in the sale and when you can find out which keywords which query strings which ad groups are resulting in sales you can increase ad spend on them and cut out the ones that aren't performing so for our offer it is CLA Safflower Oil and this is through Max Bounty so I went to tools postback URLs postback builder and then if you just come down here and select your affiliate network scroll down to max bounty and click it select network it'll give you it'll show you what you need to input after your link so right here it says great max bounty here you go in step one of postback URL guide you need to pass a unique sub ID to your max bounty affiliate link here's what to add to that and it says and s2 equals click ID so this is where you need to pay the most attention. We do not add the and s2 equals click ID after our link right here. It has to be and or the question mark s1 equals click ID because we're sending them to the ClickFunnels landing page. So what we need to do, this is the landing page. I'm going to label that. We're going to create a sales page link. Okay, so the link name is CLA sales page. I got track coding OCPA.com forward slash CLA sales page. Now just come over to Max Bounty, grab your link, and click search and search. Go back, paste it in. <clears throat> paste it in. Make sure there aren't any spaces. And you need to have and, not question mark, and s2 equals bracket s1 and it's not a question mark I can't stress that enough this is an and the first one for the landing page was question mark s1 equals click ID the sales page is and s2 equals s1 create link so now what's going to happen is we're going to put the sales page link in our landing page so I'll do that right now. So we had that buy button and we're just going to link it to the sales page that we just made. So click here to order CLA Safflower Oil now. I'm going to set action, go to website URL, paste it in, control V. So HTTP track.codingocpa CLA sales page. And then add a dash bracket S1, close it and save so what is going to happen now is we are going to click this this is our landing page link we're going to open it up paste it in and click enter so remember we had the ant s1 equals click ID so the click ID was generated right here it is 70708 
Now, when we go to this buy button, when we hover over it, we should see this link with the sub ID hovering over at the end of it. But we forgot a step. So you see down here, I'll zoom in for you. It says parentheses 5BS1 parentheses 5D. That means we need to have a certain code of JavaScript in our header of the landing page so we can pass this sub ID on. And you might be thinking, wow, that sounds complicated, but it's really not. So, I, oops. I'm going to go to tools. No, I'm going to go to FAQ and I'm going to type in JavaScript. And then this should pop up. Can I pass data to my affiliate links or autoresponder? Open that up. And you need to have this right here. This is the JavaScript that will pass on the S1 data. So come back to uh, your landing page, go to settings, tracking code, and in the header, paste it in, and then hit save. So I'm going to do this all over again. Okay, I'm going to clear my stats first. All right, so let's try that again. I'm going to copy, paste. So we have the same thing, but it's see the click ID changed because every click is unique and that's how we track our sales. So the end for our 1277. Now let's come down here. We have the JavaScript in our header. Now when we hover, it doesn't have the parentheses on it. It has our click ID. So it says 50 or 80, 57, 71, 1277. So it's the same as up there. So now when we click here, this is our S1. But remember, when we actually click this, we have at the very end of this affiliate link, we have the and S2 equals S1, which is the S2 equals the click ID. And that is how you properly track sales with Max Bounty. So let's go click here to order CLA Safflower Oil. Now it'll bring us to the affiliate page. And one thing you guys need to know, you need to download this redirect path. I'm going to go to Google and type in redirect path. So click here to get redirect path. It should look something like this. Go download it, add it to your Chrome page. And when you click it, you can see all the steps that we took. So right from the first click, we have our track coding no CPA.com CLA sales page. So you remember when we tested it out, the, the click ID ended in 1277. So then it redirects to here. So click this. You got all this code right here, and then you just need to look for the and S2 equals 8057711277. We have the 1277. So that's when you know that you have uh, you've done everything correctly. You can keep going down 1277, it's all good. And up to here, we got the 1277. That's all you need because we landed on the max bounty link and we have our S2. So you guys might be wondering, why can't I just put and S2 equals click ID from the end of the landing page link? It just doesn't work that way. We have to pass it through the S1 and then we have to transfer it to the S2 because that's how they track it. So I hope that wasn't too confusing for you. I'm going to pause the video and kind of write out all the steps that we took in a notepad to try to clear things up. Okay, so I just paused the video and I wanted to kind of write everything out so it kind of seems a little clearer. So this is our landing page tracking link. Now let me f refresh this. I should have clicks for both of these. Yep. So landing page. This is our tracking link. We have the our question mark S1 equals click ID. So this is the tracking link for our landing page. This is our landing page link with the question mark S1 equals click ID. So when they click here, this will turn into a nine digit number, a unique click ID. And then when people go to our landing page and they click on the buy button, it's a separate link, they will click the order button 
and this bracket S1 simply just transfers this unique ID right here. So when they click on it, that's why when we hovered over the buy button, we could see the same number as this came up with. And make sure you have to have the custom JavaScript, otherwise it'll be the parentheses stuff, and that's when you know you need to add that. So click ID is generated. When they hover over the order button, that is the nine digit number. When they click it, we have the S2 equals S1. And that is how you properly get everything set up. So I hope this makes sense to you guys, but there's one more step. So lastly, I didn't mean to write that's it right there. So there is one more step. Um, lastly, add post back URL to max bounty. And to do this, we just have to go to click magic. Oops, where were we? Click magic tools, post back URL, post back builder. Uh, click, scroll down to max bounty, select network. And then this is our post back URL. We got to copy that and then come to max bounty. And you see the pixel slash post backs. You want to, if you don't have your default post back set in your profile, you can do URL and just paste it in and click save pixel. Now every time you send someone to your landing page through your tracking link, you can track the sub IDs to see what results in the sale. So this, you might have to watch this video a couple times. I hope I made it clear enough. I'll go over this one more time. Landing page tracking link right here goes to the landing page URL, which we made. The landing page we made in ClickFunnels. S1 equals click ID. When they click on the order button, this is our tracking link, that S1 gets transferred to the S2 by this little section right here. And S2 equals bracket S1 close bracket. And that's it. And then you have your postback URL set up. So every time you send someone to this link, we'll be able to track everything. Okay, so that's it for this video. I, If you guys are confused, just watch it a few times. Uh, contact, click magic support if you really can get it. Once you get this set up, it's probably the most confusing part about anything with affiliate slash CPA marketing. But once you get it down, you'll start to get used to it. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.